I want to now look at a, a virtual reality ride as kind of the next notch up towards, um, towards maximum virtual reality. So what happens in a VR ride? I don't know if you've ever gone inside of one of these things, but um, there's a picture of it here. And, and uh, what it's like is you go in there and you have some ability, you have a joystick or something like that, and you, you fly around in this, in this vehicle. That's the basic idea. And so the site is pretty good, right? You, uh, you know, it's, it's probably not as good as a 3D movie, but it's up there. You know, they, they, they do pretty good visuals in, the, in, these, um, in these virtual reality rides. The sound, again, is maxed out. It's really easy to get really high fidelity sound, and it sounds like people are talking to you, and et cetera, et cetera. And they also got one more thing going for them in the VR ride. They got your internal organs, right? And you know this. You, you've, you, if you've ever been in one of those things, you push the joystick down, and you feel like, whomp. Right? You, and you push the joystick up and the thing actually goes back and you feel like you're accelerating. And, right? It's kind of got that internal organ thing going um, where that augments, that makes it even feel more real. And, and that's probably the major innovation actually of those is that they allow you to have the internal organ sense as well as the sight and the sound. Okay, so now the output fidelity, they actually now do have some output, right? The ones we've looked at so far, there's no output at all. You, nothing you do has any effect on the, on the world that you're in. But here, all of a sudden, you have the joystick. So you're moving that joystick around, right? And the machine is responding. So you have hand gestures. You're moving your hand around, you're doing hand gestures. And it's, uh, it's, there's high fidelity to the hand gestures and it's kind of like you're actually there, which is the point. You're supposed to be flying this thing and, and it's kind of you do the same behaviors more or less as you would do to, to, to fly. So the, your hand gestures have a lot of effectiveness, but nothing else, right? I mean, we have a whole laundry list of things that could affect the world that you're in and only one of them, these hand gestures, is the only one that are, that are affecting it. So what's, the, what's the, the, the output now? You know, you guys can, can agree or disagree with, with me on belief and overall immersion, but I'd put the belief and the overall lo immersion of those VR rides, you know, pretty low. I mean, personally, I've always been kind of disappointed by them because I'm always expecting more immersion out of them. And I come out and say, eh, you know, I didn't really believe I was there. You know, certainly I don't believe as much as I believed in a good book or a good movie. No way. Those books and movies do it, do it to me far better than the VR ride. Now, that obviously will, will change over time because otherwise people are going to stop doing it. That's what they want. They want the immersion. They want to believe that they're in another world. So that's the VR ride. It's our first example of one that has actually some output in it. Books and movies don't have output. They only have input, but they still generate that high immersion. The VR ride, even though it has more input and it has some output, doesn't generate the same amount of, um, of belief and immersion.